the distance between points A and B is 50 kilometers. Zen travels from point A towards B at 4 kilometers per hour and Zara travels from point B towards point A at 6 kilometers per hour. They leave at the same time and travel towards each other at different speeds. What are we being asked for? After how much time do they meet is what we need to find out. When we are not sure about how to approach a time speed distance problem, the safest option is to use the formula for each case. We apply the speed multiplied by time is equal to distance formula for Zen and Zara. We have been given the individual speeds as 4 and 6 km per hour. What about the time in each case? We haven't been given how much time they will take to meet up. But if they leave simultaneously, the time taken by each of them to meet each other will be the same. For example, if they leave at 11 am and meet at 1 pm, then they both took 2 hours to meet up. If they meet at 2 pm, then they both took 3 hours to meet up. Let's assume they meet after t hours. So we write t for each. Now do we know the distance that each one will travel until the point they meet? No we don't. We haven't been provided with the individual distances. But think about it. What is the total distance that they will travel together? If they leave together and say meet at this point, the total distance travelled will be the distance between them. No matter where they meet, the sum of the distances travelled by them will be equal to the distance between them. So the sum of these two distances will be 50 kilometers. That's all the information we have and we need to find t. How do we find t using this table? It's easy. The distance travelled by Zen will be 4 multiplied by t or 4t. And similarly, the distance covered by Zara will be 60. We know that the sum of these two distances will equal 50 kilometers. That gives us the value of t as 5 hours. Zen and Zara will meet 5 hours after they leave. This was simple to understand, logical and wasn't too lengthy. But there is a much better way to solve this problem. We can tackle this problem using the concept of relative speed. It's very easy to find out which problems involve relative speed. When two things are moving towards each other, or if two things are moving away from each other, or if one is following the other and so on. These problems can almost always be tackled using the concept of relative speed. In the previous session, we had seen that when two objects are moving towards each other, the relative speed is the sum of the individual speeds. So here it will be 4 plus 6 which equals 10 km per hour. But remember, if you are using relative speed, be sure that the objects leave together. Why is this faster? It's because finding the time is really easy. It equals the distance between the objects divided by the relative speed. The distance between the objects is 50 km and the relative speed is 10 km per hour. So the time taken by them to meet will be 50 over 10 or 5 hours. I don't need to tell you which one was quicker. It's obvious. So understand the relative speed concept well and apply it wherever possible. There can be variety of questions related to such concepts. For example, we might be told that they leave at 11 am. What time do they meet? We just have to find t and add it to 11 am. They would meet at 4 pm. How far from point A do they meet? If they meet at say this point, then what does this distance tell us? It is the distance that Zen travels. That's 4 times t or 20 kilometers. That's how far the meeting point is from A. And how far from B do they meet? It would be 6 times t or 30 kilometers. Remember, for relative speed problems, the time taken by the parties to meet would be equal to the distance between them divided by the relative speed. <laughs>